Hey guys, it is Matt with Savage UTV, and today we are going over the first aid kit unboxing. Just to kind of show you guys what this product is, uh, what comes with it. Um, this is our standard case. It is airtight, waterproof, mounts right on any roll cage. You can see there's two buckles here to keep it shut, and there is a clasp here to be able to either add a zip tie as a secondary means or put a lock uh, to uh, basically fight against uh, theft or anyone stealing your stuff. This is a um, knurled uh, screw on top. Basically, it is a bleeder to burp air. Uh, if you load this case up at high elevation and you come down to a low elevation, you're gonna have a hard time getting it open. So just like a Pelican case, you just let some air in and uh, it'll allow you to open it. That's how tight these cases seal. Opening this up, you can see comes with all the mounting hardware, a little disclaimer about the first aid, but you can see that there's a rubber seal and a, a raised edge here goes all the way around the case to create two points of impact on that seal to make sure that it is waterproof and airtight. So this uh, ripstop nylon pouch is completely removable, comes out. Um, there is some room in here for you to add some other um, supplies if you want. Um, so we'll go ahead and set the case aside and go over what is in here. Uh, there is a set of trauma shears uh, for cutting seat belts, clothing, sterile gauze pads. There is bandages. Uh, we have some burn gel and some antibiotic cream. There is a basically a um, wrap to be able to wrap up any kind of injury. A triangular bandage or shoulder bandage for dislocation or, or um, tears of the shoulder. Um, a rescue blanket or emergency blanket. <clears throat> we have antiseptic wipes here. Clean your hands. Tourniquet with instructions. Two sets of gloves. There's a whole first aid and basic CPR guide. Steri strips. A Curlix or gauze wrap. And a giant abdominal gauze pad. The reason why we chose these is basically you'd be able to access a patient by cutting seatbelts, cutting clothes, get access to injuries. Um, and then these are all things that we would commonly see uh, for a traumatic injury. We have things for your torso or major neck or body part bleeding um, and, and blood control. And then we have the tourniquet obviously for extremity uh, bleeding control, gloves for your personal protective equipment, and then other little things that you might use. And like I said, there's plenty of room to be able to add more stuff. Check these out. They're really awesome. Totally waterproof. Mount right up on your roll cage. SavageUTV.com.